Hi everybody. Bach has influenced countless musicians for sure. What's less well known is that he also had a great impact on 20th century American television. In today's movement, we're going to hear what I call the Columbo effect. More on that in a minute. Now in last week's prelude, Bach was fixated on one gesture, playing it again and again. <laughs> That gave us something to hold on to and make things predictable. Today's movement, the Alamon, is a much wilder ride. He goes from one musical idea to the next very, very quickly, and yet he makes sure that each one of those ideas gets equal time. Once again, Bach's large family helps us understand his music. When you have 20 kids like he did, you spend too much time with one, the others get jealous. So he must have felt guilty after all that time on. So back to Columbo. Each half of the movement feels like it's done. And Bach then throws in yet another gesture, like this. It's his way of saying. Just one more thing. So I hope you like the Alamond. It reminds me of a nice drive in the mountains. Lots of twists and turns along the way.